Hi, Bob the Canadian here. In this English lesson, I'm going to go over some of the most common questions that you will be asked if you go for a job interview in English. But before we get started though, if this is your first time here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button over there and give me a thumbs up if this video helps you learn just a little bit more English. So one of the first questions that you will be asked in an English job interview is the question, how would you describe yourself? Or another version of it would be, tell us a little bit about yourself. This is a very open question. It's usually the first question in a job interview. Uh, and you can answer it in a number of ways. You can talk about yourself as a person or you can talk about your interests. So you could say, I'm a very outgoing person and I love working with others. You could say something like, I've always loved technology and I can't wait to have a job where I can work more closely with technology. Or you could say something like, I've always loved teaching other people new things. That's what I would say if I was in an interview and if someone asked that question. So the first question you're going to get asked uh, is going to be a question about you, just kind of a broad open question about who you are as a person. The second questions that you will be asked in a job interview might have to do with why you want the job. So the interviewer may ask questions like, why do you want to work for us? Or why are you applying for this job? One of the best ways to answer this is to know something about the company and to say things like, I've always admired the work that you do in the community or the work that you do for your customers. You may also want to uh, talk about something that the company did recently that impressed you. So you could say, I was impressed by how well you did this recent job. So you really want to know something about the company so you can connect your strengths and your abilities with what they do. So you can say, I've always loved working with people and I know that your company specializes in helping people. I would love to work with you so that I can use my talents to help your company do a better job. The third question you might be asked in a job interview is why should we hire you? And this would be a time to talk about the things that make you a good worker. You should say things like, I am always on time. Hopefully you're always on time. I am an efficient and organized person. You should say things like, I like solving problems or I like getting things done on time. Whatever makes you a good worker, whatever skills and talents you have, this is the question where you should answer those. Usually when I answer this question, I say things like, I love learning new things. I love solving problems, I'm always on time, and I'm very organized. All of those things are true. It sounds a little bit boastful, but that pretty much describes me. The fourth question you might be asked in a job interview is, where do you see yourself in five years? Even though they are possibly hiring you to start soon, they'll still want to know what some of your long range plans are. This would be a good time to be honest. If you don't want to work your way up in the company, you should just say so. You should say, if I get the position I'm applying for, I could see myself still doing that in five years and doing it well. But if you are someone who wants to work your way up in the company, you should tell them. Um, when you work your way up, it means that you want to get promotions. So perhaps you start as a worker and then you want to be a foreman or a manager and eventually work your way up to be in the leadership of the company. So be honest, just tell them where you see yourself in five years. The fifth question you might be asked in a job interview is what motivates you? Um, when we talk about motivation, we talk about what makes you want to work hard and what makes you get things done. Um, you could say, I am self-motivated. I usually enjoy my work and I work hard regardless of whether someone is telling me what to do or not. So that would be self-motivated. Um, you could say, I am motivated by having a good schedule and a good agenda and by having a manager or someone in charge of me who is very organized. Uh, or you could simply say, I am motivated by having a really good manager or boss who tells me what to do all the time. So people are motivated in different ways. You should be honest uh, to the job interviewer about what motivates you the best. The sixth thing you might be asked in a job interview is describe your last job. 
What they're looking for here is just a quick and simple description of what you used to do at your previous job. So you could say things like, I was a fifth grade teacher at an elementary school. I was full time and every day I taught fifth grade students all of the subjects. You could say, I was a waiter at a restaurant. I worked there for seven years. I was on the shift that worked throughout the weekend uh, and I really enjoyed my work and helping people. So just be ready to describe whatever your job was uh, before you started to look for a new job. So be honest, uh, be open, maybe talk about the things you liked about that job while you are describing it. The seventh question you might be asked in a job interview is what led you to this career? The job interviewer will want to know why you got an education in the field that you did or why you have been working in this field or how you got involved in that field. So if you are a teacher, you will want to say things like, I've always loved working with kids. I've always loved teaching people new things. Teaching just comes naturally to me. If you are a chef, you would want to say, I have always loved food. I have loved preparing food and I have loved eating food. And so food has been an important part of my life. And I have become a chef because I like preparing food for other people. If you work in the computer field, you'll want to say, I've always loved numbers and math and logic, and I have always loved technology. And so it was a natural fit for me to go into the field of computer programming. So when they say what led you to this career, you'll want to talk about your interest in the area and your education a little bit. The eighth question that you will probably be asked in a job interview is what is your greatest strength or what are some of your strengths? And you'll want to be honest here. You really need to know yourself. If your strength is solving problems, you should say, I am a really good problem solver. If your strength is that you are good at planning things, you should say, I am really good at creating plans for big projects. If your strength or one of your strengths is that you are good with people, um, that you enjoy talking with people and encouraging them and motivating them, you would say, one of my strengths is that I work well with others. One of my strengths is that I enjoy working on teams or in groups with other people. Talking about strengths naturally leads to the next question where you'll be asked, what is your greatest weakness or what are some of your weaknesses? And again, here you need to be honest. You need to simply tell them what some of your weaknesses are specifically as a worker or as an employee. So you should say things like, I don't work well with others. I work best on my own. You should say things like, I get bored easily by repetitive tasks. I get bored easily if things repeat themselves and I like having some variety in my day. So notice I talked about my weaknesses, but I also mentioned a strength after the weakness. I think that is a good strategy when you get question number nine, what is your greatest weakness or what are some of your weaknesses? A 10th question that you might be asked in a job interview is what is your biggest professional achievement? So what they'll want to know is something that you did at a past job that went really, really well. So I can't give you any specific examples, but for this question, what is your biggest professional achievement? Make sure when you go to the job interview, you think about that time you solved a really, really big problem at one of your previous jobs, or that time at one of your previous jobs where you uh, finished a really big project and your boss was really, really happy. So just be prepared to talk about something you've done at a past job that went really, really well. An 11th question that you might have in a job interview is, have you ever had a big problem at work and how did you overcome it? The job interviewer will want to know um, what your problem solving skills are like. Many jobs have situations where things don't go well and people need to think on their feet. When you think on your feet, you're thinking quickly uh, and you need to solve problems. So uh, make sure you go into the interview uh, thinking about a problem that you had at a previous job and what you did to make that problem go away. A 12th question that you might be asked in a job interview is, what do you like to do outside of work? 
So you will want to be prepared when you go to an interview to talk about the things that you do for fun. Even though it doesn't have anything to do with work, this is a common question that employers ask in job interviews. So be ready to talk about your hobbies. If you like to read, be ready to say that you like to read. If you like to go hiking, be ready to talk about how you like to go hiking. So certainly when you go to a job interview, you need to be ready to talk about your education. You need to be able to talk about your past jobs and experience, uh, but you also want to be able to talk about your hobbies. Sounds kind of funny, but they definitely will ask you this question. A 13th question that you will most likely get asked in a job interview is, do you work well with others? Um, if you are applying for a job where you will need to work on a team or where, where you will need to work closely with other people, they'll want to know if you work well with others. Um, I'm not sure if you knew this. I actually don't work well with others. I work well by myself. I am able to work well with others, but I actually enjoy working by myself more than I enjoy working with other people. So be honest in your answer. If you do work well with other people, say, I work well with other people, I love working with other people, and then give some examples. If you don't work well with other people, I would say you should answer it this way. You should say, I prefer to work on projects or tasks by myself, but I am able to work with other people when I need to. So that's the 13th question. Do you work well with other people? The 14th question that you will probably be asked in a job interview is, do you have any questions for us? Wherever you are applying for a job, they will want to know if you have any questions about their business. This is a great time to ask about how many hours per week you would need to work. Uh, it's a good time to ask, what does a typical day look like if you were to be hired for that job? Um, it's also a good time to uh, have done some homework on this company. Uh, wherever you are applying, you'll want to know a little bit about the company so that you can ask intelligent questions. So the 14th question that you will probably be asked is, do you have any questions for us or do you have any questions? Well, thank you so much for watching this English lesson about some of the most common questions that you will hear during a job interview. I'm Bob the Canadian and you are learning English with me here on YouTube. If this is your first time here though, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up if this video helped you learn just a little bit more English. And if you have a bit of time, why don't you stick around and watch one or two more videos.